Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for September 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? All right, so no long intro this time. I just do want to say thank you so much for being patient with me as I'm getting these monthly readings out. Um, it's been a real doozy of an energetic atmosphere lately, so thank you for your patience. All right, Pisces, let's get into your pre-shuffle energies here. So you have the King of Wands and Temperance that has come out. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Wands. And the first thing that I heard when, when I saw the King of Wands come out is stay in your alignment, okay? Just stay in the, the possibility of what might be. Stay in your flow. But also, <clears throat> we have a situation in which either counterparts are coming together or in the process of aligning with each other, and I just heard healing between each other, but it also could just be the, the alchemization or the balancing of your masculine and with your feminine energy, okay? Either way, whether this is an external or internal, and quite frankly, it could very well be both, but we have an energy of aligning here and balancing and integrating and showing up as you are is what I just heard. Also showing yourself for who you truly are meant to be and allowing that to shine. And ultimately that is bringing, for some of you, that is bringing a partner into your existence. And then underneath the Queen of Wands, you do have the Chariot. I'm sorry, you do have the Ace of Cups and then you have the Chariot, okay? So this really, whether you are, whether you are really aligning with another person or not, this is definitely a situation where you have the balancing and the integrating of masculine and feminine energies within you that is influenced by a sense of self-love, divine love, divine partnership, and a partnership or a union with the divine, which is then allowing you to set yourself in motion, get your balance, uh, get your emotions balanced, getting your two sides, whether that... Uh, uh, I, in terms of like masculine and feminine energy, getting that into balance so that you can drive yourself forward with the chariot and also break free from some sort of mental prison, eight of swords. Okay, the hell is that? All right. So, so far, Pisces, this is really good. I really like this for you. Um, yeah, balancing and integrating is the theme here is really what I want to say. And again, that could absolutely bring you bring you closer to a divine counterpart or someone that you may have been aligning with for some time now. Um, I feel like there is a healing process going on. So if you are in the process of aligning with someone new, yep, okay, if you are in the process of aligning with someone new, I feel like you're kind of in a separation phase right now. Seven of Wands has just come out here. Um, there are boundaries that need to be held, boundaries that need to be kept. You have the Hierophant at the bottom. Um, if you are in a, process, in, a, in a bit of a separation mode right now, I feel like that's so that you can balance and integrate the lessons that you have learned so far up until this point in your experience um, so that you can come together again in the future, okay? All right, Pisces, this is good. So let's get the rest of your message here. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our September, for the month of September, 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, Pisces, I'm giving this five shuffles for you. Um, I do want to say, this is one, I do want to say that I'm seeing yellow and orange energy for you, and then ultimately that's leading you up to purple. Um, orange came out first. This is two. Uh, and that, to me, was speaking to understanding your emotions, getting very clear on what it is that you want, uh, or at least how you feel. This is three. Which is then leading you to, t to be able to take more action. Um, so... This is four. Um, if we're talking about this, let's talk about this in terms of like the balancing and the integrating of masculine and feminine energy within you. This is five. Uh, the queen of wands would represent the process of understanding your emotions, getting in tune with your emotions, and then getting in alignment with it. Boop. 
the king of wands would represent, so that's the orange energy, which is your sacral chakra. The king of wands would represent the yellow chakra or the action. So I feel like Pisces, as you're really going through this, this balancing and integrating process, it's setting you up to be able to take greater action towards your goals and desires. Excellent. Overall energy, first card, you have the queen of pentacles now. So Pisces, a lot of what you're dealing with right now is, is showing you your worth or is allowing you to get to a place where you can really understand your worth and settle into that and not allow yourself to, access, uh, to accept anything less. Underneath the Queen of Pentacles, you do have the Nine of Wands. Underneath the Nine of Wands, you have the Ace of Wands. And then finally, at the, uh, after, underneath the Ace of Wands, ooh, you have the Four of Cups here. So, okay. All right. So this is what I feel like is happening for you guys right now. Um, the struggle is real is what I want to say. And I feel like there, there are many of you out there that have been in this queen of pentacles energy, being a provider, being a caregiver, being like that wife, mother archetype, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Um, I just get this energy of providing, 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 and just being there for people. Yes, spirit did just say understanding your worth. But then with the nine of wands here, and, and then finally the ace of wands, Ace to the nine will bring you to the ten. So I feel like there is... What's, what's really happening during this balancing and integrating process for you, Pisces, or for some of you out there, is you're starting to really realize your worth here, Queen of Pentacles, okay? You're starting to really realize, wow, I may have been putting way too much into something and not really getting anything in return. There's kind of a stubborn energy with the Nine of Wands here saying you didn't want to give up, you were going to fight for something tooth and nail. But now finally some sort of inspiration has come in for you, Ace of Wands, that's ultimately bringing you to the Ten, um, in which you realize there are too many burdens that you're carrying. And with the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck right now, I feel like you guys have been resisting accepting this. You haven't wanted to let something or someone go for fear that they will never come back or fear like you would lose them forever or lose something, blah, 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 blah. But with this Queen of Pentacles energy here, you start, you're starting to realize, well, actually, I'm not really losing anything. And anything that does not return to me is only creating more space for something that is way more in alignment with my sense of self-worth, who I truly am and what I truly deserve here. Underneath the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck, you do have that with the Ten of Pentacles. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is a lesson learned. And I wanted to say, I just wanted to say here, don't give up on yourself any longer. Okay, so let's get into this. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, you have the page of pentacles stepping into a new reality you might feel like a little bit of, a, of an apprentice here in this queen of pentacles energy knowing your worth standing up for yourself not allowing yourself to take anything less than what you know you're worthy of what you know you are due um, and not allowing yourself to overgive in a situation not allowing yourself to give to the point where you're depleting of your own resources and now you have nothing left for yourself yes this is very new to you here pisces page of pentacles you might feel like an amateur you might feel like an apprentice you might feel like you're super super green here you might feel I, I i do feel a sense of unstable energy but not that you're not that you're unstable but just unsturdy like you don't know how to really stand firm or tall and strong in this energy just yet but don't worry about it because why you just got here pisces Okay, <laughs> you just got here. Like, yes, your training wheels may be on for a, while, for a while right now. Don't worry about that. Don't allow yourself to fall into any sort of self-pity or self-deprecation because you see others around you that are no longer wearing using their training wheels. Guess what, Pisces? They had them at one point too, right? Okay, Page of Pentacles is coupled with the Page of Cups now. Look at that. So yeah, this is a new physical reality and a new emotional reality. And what the Page of Pen uh, I'm sorry, what the Page of Cups is saying to you here is focus more on understanding your emotions, getting to know yourself better on this new in this new level, and that is what's going to help you feel a lot more stable, sturdy, and grounded within this cycle or within this new reality that you find yourself. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, we have the Six of Pentacles. And this really kind of feels like the 
strongest aspect to this new cycle that you find yourself in or this new reality that you find yourself in because the six of pentacles is all about reciprocity is all about give and take and i do see you pisces as this man standing in between these two people with a balanced scale giving of his giving of what he has in an equal manner to all people but what i'm feeling here pisces is you are learning how to be balanced in your in your giving In some cases, I just heard only giving when absolutely necessary. I feel like there are some people around you that have been uh, users, that have been using you, that have been just, and you've been so free in, in giving of your energy and your love that it kind of made it really easy for them to just expect you to give them more without really giving anything back in return in some cases. In other cases, I'm feeling like what they did give back was kind of paltry, you know, was inadequate. Not that they, it's not that they couldn't give more. It's just that they wa didn't want to or just wouldn't. Knowing full well, you deserve more, okay? But see, this is why this is your lesson, Pisces, because you're the one that has to set the boundaries. You're the one that has to set the record straight and say, no, 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 no. No, if you want my assistance, if you want my love, if you want my care and support, then we're gonna have to have a reciprocal relationship here. There's no two ways about it. Six of Pentacles is coupled with, yeah, the Seven of Cups. Um, and I feel like there are some people out here that have gaslit you in terms of this situation. Um, maybe tried to get away with some sort of thing, like, because now I'm kind of picking up on a conversation in which maybe you did uh, uh, approach someone or confront the situation in some way and they were kind of like smoke and mirrors like trying to trying to make excuses trying to gaslight you trying to throw you off the scent or 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 change the subject so they didn't have to really truly be honest with you about it or really truly face the reality of the fact that they're not reciprocating in an adequate way and they're probably well aware of this but see, this is all part of that integration process, that process of understanding your worth and understanding when and where are the right times, appropriate times, appropriate situations, appropriate people to give to, even the appropriate amount to give to said situations or people, right? Integration process is what Spirit just said. So yes, this might be a bit of a challenge. You might feel like you're getting battered and bruised here, but it's only to make you stronger. All right, Pisces, your challenge in the first half of your reading. Ah, ha, ha, look at that. The emperor being in control, being the master of your own domain, being committed, being faithful, being strong, um, uh, being decisive. It's like you're learning, you're learning how to be in control of your resources your vitality and your livelihood. The emperor is not emotional like the empress. The emperor is very much straight up facts. It is what it is. We have a certain process that we that we follow here that helps protect our family or helps protect our domain. And even though you have the queen of pentacles crowning you as the very first card of your overall energy, which is feminine, your challenge right now is to integrate the lesson of what the Queen of Pentacles represents, which is self-worth um, and being a provider, with the masculine principles of uh, protection and uh, honoring a commitment and and following through and, and, and sticking with the plan that we've set out for ourselves. So this is another example of that balance between masculine and feminine energy, okay? And to be quite honest, the Queen of Pentacles does kind of give me, does kind of feel a little like the Emperor because the Queen of Pentacles doesn't take shit. It is what it is. She will be there for you. She will be your ride or die. But when she finds out or figures out that you are not taking responsibility, you are not keeping up your end of the bargain, she's going to become a hard ass. Big time. Okay? So I'm definitely seeing similar energies between the Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor here. The Emperor is coupled with the Knight of Cups. 
And so it's interesting because what this is kind of saying now is this is you in the process of becoming aware of what your heart's desire is and following through with that heart's desire, not backing down and protecting yourself. So however your heart wants to express itself, that's great. You should be allowed to do that, but you should also do that in a place or from a frame of mind where I'm going to protect myself and I'm not going to allow myself to be used or taken advantage of. Okay, closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading, Pisces. Four of Swords. So this is definitely a time for contemplation, okay? A definitely a time for understanding your surroundings, where you have come from, where you have been, and kind of where you want to go in the future. I highly recommend that you really take some time to yourself to rest and recuperate and meditate, to really take some time for self-care. Four of Swords is coupled with the King of Pentacles now. Okay, look at that. You've got the king and the queen here. For some of you, what you want to be meditating on is what is your true representation of the king of pentacles. If you're king of pentacles, if you're looking for that, like if you're looking for that counterpart, you need to really get to the point where you can fully understand what it is you want out of a king of pentacles, out of a counterpart, and not settle for anything less. Yes, be open with your heart and move forward and be caring and loving and compassionate, but also don't back down from what you know is right for you, what you know you really truly want here, okay? Now, the second thing that is coming through with the Four of Swords and the King of Pentacles, allow yourself time to rest and meditate because also the King of Pentacles is representing you becoming solid and stable and secure in who you know you are, becoming that mountain that is unmovable. You're either going to accept that mountain and go around it or climb over it, or you're just gonna go somewhere else. But this is that process of allowing you to integrate into and solidify what it is this, whatever this energy is for you or whatever this cycle represents for you, okay? This is great, Pisces. So I'm going to move over to Patreon for the second part of this. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If I don't see you over on Patreon, I wish you well. Um, I highly recommend that you guys check Patreon out, patreon.com slash divine conversations. There's lots of good stuff there already, but there's going to be even more in the future. Um, and if you are interested in getting a personal reading with me, please don't hesitate to email me, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All the information for Patreon and uh, my email address for a private reading can be found in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Cool. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>